Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Here we go, back again at this. Um, uh, uh, today we're going to be talking about the bath fraud, the conversion fraud, um, what happened with the converts, why did Mirza Thayer Ahmed lie about these converts. I've discussed this many times. Even now they're lying. I mean, they, they've been lying about, about converts since forever. This is nothing new for the Ahmadiyya movement to lie. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed claimed 400,000 followers. 400,000 before he died. That's ridiculous. That is just absolutely ridiculous. So um, let me just add a StreamYard link as we start here. Um, give me just a sec. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about an Ahmadi called Zubair Ahmed. I don't really know much about the guy. But it seems like uh, he is an amity. Uh, I, I haven't heard any different. So um, uh, let me just post this link. So let's just see what what happened the other day between Zubair Ahmed and uh, the uh, the amities on Twitter. Um, Noonan was there. You guys, you guys remember Noonan? So I, I've given this story before. Noonan converted because of a girl. The common reason is the girl. So uh, he has another family. He never paid no child support. He's a lazy guy. You know, them lazy dudes sh should be all always be watched because, uh, you know, laziness is a big, big, big problem. You know, if you're a man that's lazy, he doesn't want to work, you can never compare to a man who, who loves hard work. And I, I read a hadith the other day, a man who works hard all day, all his sins are forgiven. Or maybe for that day, all his sins are forgiven. I don't remember exactly, but working hard, you know, um, and, and and that guy, he never worked a day in his life. You know, he claims to be a bouncer. He he says he used to be a bouncer at, bro, you were the bartender. If anything, you were cleaning the bathrooms after, um, knock it off. That That's just what we say, knock it off. Um, Walaikum salam, brother. Um, so, Okay. Let me just share the screen and first, first let me make sure this is working. Yep, it's working. And I, I'm gonna just go go over this, go over what happened yesterday. Uh, so here we go, here we go. We're off to the races, we're off to the races. Uh, I click share screen and then there, there that goes. And then I just go like this, I think. Okay, so here we go. Here's, here's how it all started. Um, uh, Ibrahim Noonan. He says he's watching MTA and how blessed are the words of Hazrat Talifa Tul Masih? How fortunate are we? You're fortunate. He's this guy's fortunate to have a job. He'd be working at a snack bar, or driving a taxi, you know. And 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 those jobs are okay. The, those are the, it's totally okay to to do that. Um, those are honorable profe um, professions. There's nothing wrong in it. But when you masquerade as if uh, you know he doesn't want he he doesn't even want to do. Um, uh, do that he couldn't do it so you know he, he says the the nur from the face of the halifa yeah uh Nunan's the guy who would who would force his wife to go and massage the halifa if the halifa asked for that to be done and he would go and do it too so okay then here's this guy uh um zubair Ahmed, and i sent him a, me a message on twitter like what up because i don't know what he is but uh he says hey which type of truth is in the claim being 41 million new bats in India in 2001 or 200 million worldwide, you know, 10 and now it's tens of millions. He goes, what truth are you referring to? You know, this, this, your Halifa doesn't have his name on any of the paperwork for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat International, the local Jamaat, nothing. He's not even in charge legally, but you guys are making him in charge, right? So, so um, Noonan responds, We've already had this discussion. Are you an Amity? So he says, if being an Amity means blindly follow, following, idolizing, glorifying those who blatantly tell not tell lies, then he's like, then no, I'm not an Amity. If how, however it means, so what's the definition of an Amity? Is an Amity someone who follows the Khalifa? Who's you know they these guys always talk about what's the definition of a Muslim? Well, you know, they they want to come in and argue what's the definition of a Muslim. Right, but when, when we ask them what's the definition of an amity, they they're like, oh no, uh, this is persecution. 
they immediately jump to the persecution angle. All right, so so then he asks him, look, he says, do you accept um, Hilafat de Ahmadiyya? And Zubair Ahmed says, yeah, in the same way that he accepts the initial Khalifas. So what he's saying is correct. Um, why are there even Khalifas? In, in, in this context, there shouldn't be any Khalifas. When the Messiah was would, would, was supposed to return in Christianity and, and Islam, there ain't no, there isn't a lot of time left. The you know um, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said in the 14th century, 14th century, 14th century finished, uh, and the 15th we're in the 15th century. So uh, that itself disproves the claim of of, of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. There's no overtime. When the Messiah returns, when the Mahdi returns, it's authentic Hadith, 40 years, and it's game over, bro. It's done. We're all going home. Uh, so, okay. So, <laughs> so then he says, do you accept Halafat Ahmadiyya? And he's like, what? The, I, this is like all the other, all the other Halafats. I don't really have to do any of this, is what he's saying. So I don't know if he's a rogue or what. So then he quotes chapter um, 2455. Um, then he says, uh, I thought I was clear, but I'll elaborate further. Neither the initial Islamic nor the Ahmadiyya Khalifa is unconditional. If an elected uh, um, uh, a caliph does not rectify the claims of the numbers of bad, then why do you still consider him divinely appointed? He's supposed to fix things. So remember, Mirza Thayer Ahmed, there's a video of him from 1991 where he talks about the bad fraud of Mirza Nasr Ahmed. And why did Mirza Nasr Ahmed lie about, about conversions? Why did Mirza, um, Mirza Nasr Ahmed claim there were 10 million Ahmadis? I'll tell you why. I know. Uh, and, and and let me just stop share real quick, see if, if anyone's in the, in the backstage. Nope, it's just me. So, okay. Why did Mirza Nasr Ahmed lie? That's pretty easy. So remember, Mirza Nasr Ahmed was telling Budo that Amnis are 10 million worldwide, just to make himself look bigger than he, than he is, to exaggerate. And this is funny because that fellow, uh, Yahya Han, uh, Shamsuddin's uh, cousin, this is all he talks about with, with Shamsuddin. He's like, oh, you're a liar. He's got that cousin beef with him, and he just hates him. He says, oh, we are uh, we are intelligent, him, him and his brothers and sisters maybe. And then he's like, you people were the ones who, you know, couldn't read. Bro, this is a terrible attitude to have. You know, and, and Yahya Han is a terrible human. And he proves, he disproves Amadea. He proves that Amadea is false. Just based on how he acts. Look at how he talks. That's all you need to look at. The contempt, the jealousy, the uh, he's pretending to be nice. He's pretending to use flowery language. But really, he's he hates Shamsuddin. He hates all uh, ex amadeus And the Jamaat put him up to it. And he's not going to admit to any of it. And he only he was not even think he's a doctor. He's like a pharmacologist, so he's not even telling his own story. You know, he should tell his own story once, right? So okay, um, where were we? Mirza Nasser Ahmed. Yeah, he was telling Budo that there were the Amnis were ten million. Come on. So there's a video of Mirza Thayer Ahmed, 1991. Look it up. It's on the blog. It's on the blog. Look it up. Okay, I posted all of this. Uh, I'm look up World Christian Encyclopedia and scroll down to 1991. I've archived all of this. And, you know, back to Yahya Han and the, and the little crew he's hanging out with. What have they written? What have they archived? What, 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 show me their body of work. Is it just videos, bro? All you, all you guys do is do video. I just wrote a, a commentary on Ijazi Amdi and I'm about to write some other ones on, and uh, in, inshallah, I'm going to write. Uh, commentary on every book of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed and his team of writers, right? What have these guys done, right? Uh, Yahya Han is still stuck on, we told him, uh, hey, look, Iqmaluddin, you know, uh, um, what's going on? He says, oh, we, we, he, 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 he keeps trying to say that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said that the only thing true in that book is, is the part that he died there. Well, that's not true. So he says, nope, I've given my answer, and that's it. No, that's not how it works. When, you, when you're when you having a conversation, you don't do that. You don't say, well, I gave my – this isn't a court of law, you know, where you're trying to prove something. We're, we're looking for answers. And if you're being dodgy, we can tell you're being dodgy. And Islam is not 
on the table for examination. It's not on the bubble. You are. Um, and, and your claim that that uh, uh, Isa al-Islam is Yuz Asif is on the table. So uh, we're evaluating it. Um, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed never said, and I'll say this again, I've said this in so many videos, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed never said that. It was Moldi Abdullah who said that. And he left Ahmadiyya. He didn't even believe that anymore. He left Ahmadiyya and became a Baha'i. Um, that was later, but four years after um, Raza Hakikat came out, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed told his readers in Al Huda, go and look. Go and, ch and check out this book, Iqmal Udin. He was telling people to go look at it. Well, what other parts of it are authentic? He even quoted uh, um, the Eclipse story from it. So uh, um, Yahya Han, he refuses to go deeper, and he doesn't want to do it. That's the whole thing. And the rest of his crew and the rest of these amnities on social media, you ask them to do the homework, they're not going to do the homework. They only want to go to the first few arguments and then quit. And then they say, no, we've, we've given our argument. That's it. So, okay. Um, so this is the conversation that, that, that's going on. Um, and then, um, Noonan says, Zubair, this is a serious position you are taking, uh, on the Khalifa. The Khalifa has addressed the issue and, uh, yeah, he's divinely appointed. So then he says, where and when is he addressed the issue? Is it, can, do we have a reference? When did the fifth Khalifa address this? He didn't. And how do you know he's, um, divinely appointed? Well, that's Noonan's, um, CEO. Excuse me, I got all kind of, but um, so why would Noonan talk bad about the guy who controls his life? He can't, right? Um, he's financially dependent on on Mirza Masur Ahmed. Um, so, so then he says, well, how do you know? He says, well, I I, I was told, and in, in, you know, he saw the election in 1997, and he witnessed it unfold in front of his eyes. He's like, I, I knew what was going to happen. I totally knew. <laughs> he's the guy who says he knew everything. Um, <laughs> 10 years later or five years later, you go, yeah, I knew he, does, he didn't say it then, you know, those kind of guys are weird. Like if you ever hang out with a guy, yep, I knew that was going to happen. If you're watching a football game, oh, I predicted it. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy who says you, you knew, you, you knew it was going to happen. Come on, man. Um, so then, uh, Zubair Ahmed says, well, you were categorically told it was, it was a divine appointment. Um, or you just assumed, <laughs> he says, are you assuming? So he says, no, during the Hajj in 2012, I saw uh, the Khalifa <laughs> doing Salah. Wait, so he did Hajj in 2012. That's very rare. Uh, Amdi Mullahs don't do Hajj. He's got to be the only one that I've ever heard of that's, who's done Hajj. So that's interesting. Um, and then he was evolving until he found such a, each, each post. What is he even talking about? Uh, and then he says he he became the holy prophet. This is just madness. Noonan is on that level, and all for a brown girl. He did it all for a brown girl. So then he says, well, then you know, um, Zubair Ahmed says the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Sadiq, truthful, even before he was appointed a prophet. He would never lie and say I got two hundred million Muslims with me, right? So then he says, oh, look, Noonan says I've seen him. I've seen the prophet. Noonan, you need to stop all of this, man. He says he also saw the problems. He saw, saw Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, uh, the fourth Khalifa. This guy's telling him he's, he's rolling a ball of yarn up, you know. Um, so then he says, oh, you should try to deal with the realities. You know, if you saw a dream, we don't know what that means. You know, maybe uh, Mirza Thay Ahmed was on top of him, and that's how he saw the dream. So we don't know. Uh and then look, Zubair Ahmed says, hey, look, the fact is that Amdis are unable to explain the false bath claim to other Amdis or to other Amdis. You know, all the explanations are poor, right? So so then, you know, Noonan keeps saying, keeps saying, oh, go cry. See, see, this is where Amdis prove that they're violent and the persecution's false. They start saying, we don't care. What are you going to do? Go cry. Go cry somewhere else. Oh, so so this is this is who they really are. And this is what why one of the big reasons why I left is they pretend to be people. They pretend to be someone who's peaceful, but really they're pushing their own agenda. And then, uh, they, uh, am I crying about numbers? Noonan keeps going on. Oh, these Halifas were boasting. And Noonan says, no, they weren't boasting. They were not boasting. Like, what? Have you seen the videos, man? <laughs> this guy's claiming 40 million people converted to Ahmadiyya in India. That's ludicrous. That's absolutely a lie. Look now, there's barely 
six, seven thousand amnis in all of India, and half of that is in is in is in uh, um in Kadian. Another another thirty three percent in 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 uh, uh Kashmir. So in the rest of India, bro, there's barely anyone, bro, barely. So um, and then and then Noonan says, look, no one leaves because of this argument. Oh, so so this is where it starts to, uh um to get to get interesting. Um, so now they're like, okay, show us someone, show us someone who left. Because of this, why does it matter? So Amnesty will come up with these questions that don't address the issue. You know, again, they're doing this court thing. If they went to court, as if they got into a fight with their brothers and they, they went to their dad, who was the judge, and they presented their case. They didn't tell the story, like what happened from a neutral perspective. Hey, this is what it was. No, they give a slanted view. So this is what uh, a Noonan continues to um, say here. Um, uh, he keeps saying people don't leave because of this, but he won't address the issue. Why did Mirza Tahir Ahmed lie? Why did Mirza Ghulam Ahmed lie? Why did Mirza Nasser Ahmed lie? Right? And uh, what, what's interesting about um, Zubair, he has a website. On that website is, is an article that I think I found, or maybe I found it from somewhere else. I put it on the blog for the world. So, you know, these a lot of these Amnesties are mad. I'm leading the ex Amity, uh revolution by supplying the material. That's true. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to inspire and <laughs> and inform. You know, I'm here to inspire Amadeus to quit Amadea and to give you information. Inspiration and information. I've said this all the time. So, okay. So now he says, bro, what about Nuzza Tanif? Read her book. She talked about the ballyhooing of the bats. That book is amazing. You know, they even, the, the uh, Qadiani Amdis even made a video about her. They hated her that much. They made a video about her saying, oh, she's still single. She's an atheist. Th this is what Amadeus is. And we're going to get this information to Congress. And we're going to get this information to the United Nations and to the Senate and to whoever, the House, and to the UK. This is who these people are. They're really evil. It's a terrorist organization. So then look, Sahel Amadeus shows up. Sahel Amadeus says, hey. You know, uh, I'm an agnostic, he's, he's, you know, agnostic atheism or agnostic deism, whatever, you know, it's cool, bro. Do what you got to do, man. You know, I don't, I don't live that life and I have a different perspective. So, but, you know, he says he left Islam. He left Islam because of Amadea. Amadea's lied so much, it'll leave a terrible taste in your mouth about Islam. So he's not the only one. Um, Amadea's have made Muslims more thug over for 120 years. So be very careful. They're coming for your children in all Muslim societies, and, and they're basically turning your children into atheists. And, and you know, in, in America, there's nothing there's nothing we can do. Uh, and these are going that route, and it's whatever. It's okay. I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I don't, you know, even in the Quran, uh, it, 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 it talks about this um, phenomenon. So Sahel says, um, uh, he says he, he went through this. He's like, I eventually stepped away. Because the fourth Khalifa is a liar. He lied about all kinds of stuff. And the icing on the cake is when he lied about the bats. He just lied. Just like the current Khalifa lies about everything too. You know, uh, Tali Ahmed was um, recently murdered. We don't know if he was murdered. We don't know what happened. Right? The, this is Ahmadiyya's sources. And they can manipulate a source from Ghana. We didn't talk to anyone in Ghana. We didn't talk to the police department. They won't talk to us. And it's hard to get in touch. So we got to take what they're saying, and we, these are confirmed liars. So why should we take anything they say, especially what they lied about the bat? So, so me and Sahel Hammond have had an interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, he doesn't like me, period, because I'm Muslim. I've tried to be cool with him so many times. He's banned me from his forum like 10, 20 times. Um, but he knows I use information from there, and he knows how much people quote my blog on there. I was just on there the other day. I was just surprised. Because I don't even know a lot of these people, but um, I just put the information out, and you know, um, it's it's academic work. You know, it, it's also uh, you know there are some things that aren't confirmed yet that we're working on. You know, so there's a variety of information there, a variety. So uh, he starts saying, "What you know? What your Halif a lot?" And you know what? Let me just take a quick break and check the back chat. See if anyone's here. Nope, I'm the only one here. See if we got some comments. Yep, salam alaikum. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, inshallah, brother, inshallah. 
So okay, let me let me go go back to to where I was. I'm up to like 20 minutes, uh, trying to end this quick. Got a busy day. Okay, so here we go. So he talks about hey, you know, the fourth fifth Talifa, fourth they should be smarter. Uh, they were duped to believe that 200 million people joined the Qadiani Amities. How how stupid is that? You honestly believed that 200 million people were part of your community. That's all. That's two thirds the population of America, and America is like the fifth most populous country in the world, I think. If not the third, I think it's the third. Yeah. So it's like you're absolutely out of your mind to even talk about those numbers. Um, but they did it. Why? Because Mirza Thayyamin was dying of cancer, probably. And he he wanted to they wanted to make it make him think he was victorious before he died. So he made this all up. Silliness, man. So what else is he lying about? So okay, um and then Sahel just keeps going on about it. He's like, look, uh um the, I, I left, this was an issue. You know, um the Jamaat wouldn't clean it up. And then here and then here comes Noonan again. Um <laughs> Right. And Newton just doesn't make any sense. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care if he makes sense or not. He has a job for life, you know, and and and, and that that that's what he's on about. Um, look, the lack of real ownership. He says it again. Lack of a public explanation. On top of that, theological uh, implications of such a long running blunder. Mr. Thyramus says his God is talking to him every day. Why didn't he um, clarify this? So a lot of issues here. Um yeah, every explanation that they give is wrong. And and so this is what Yahya Han can't understand either. Every time he gives an answer, we come up here. Here's the problem with, with your answer. He's like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to go any deeper. So it's the same thing. Then um, Noonan says, well, all people have to do is believe in, in Muhammad and Allah. And that's, that's, that's like, I have a bunch of aunties and uncles that are like that. And and he and Noonan is like, just leave him there. Don't go investigating. Don't go looking around. Because if you go looking around, they'll they know you're gonna leave. So he's so he's like, that's just it. Um so 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 then look, all of a sudden on on um Sahel's uh uh Islam Ahmadiyya Reddit forum, look. So now Sahel Ahmed, so Sahel Ahmed has maybe accused me of, of conspiracy. Brother, nothing I've ever written has got to do with conspiracy. All these stories are true. They are all true. It's hard to believe. Just like it was hard to believe um, Lance Armstrong was defrauding Tour de France. And every Tour de France knew about it. It was hard to believe uh, Major League Baseball was in on the steroid controversy. But it's true. So... Sahel Ahmed says, yeah, Zia prophecy, uh, it was either a coincidence or collusion. Well, this is what I've been saying. The CIA and FBI had Zia al killed. And Mirza Thayer Ahmed knew it was going to happen. And there was an Amdi in the FBI in those days. And, and Amdis were in the Secret Service of Pakistan in those days. And, and, and they might have been, uh, it was on a C-130 that could remote, just you could remote detonate a C-130. Easy, easy. You got remote controls in your house? In the 80s, easy, right? The, the government had something 10 times stronger than that remote control that goes from your, goes uh, 10 feet to the TV. So, okay, so Sahil Ahmed's now like, now he's scratching his head. Hey, maybe he's in with the government. Of course he's in with the government. I've been saying that. Mirza Thayer Ahmed, the reason he p- passed Ordinance 20 was because he was in with the UK, America, uh, uh, Zia, and he says, huh, get me out of Pakistan. Well, they're like, the only way is political asylum. You got to stage a situation. So he stages it, and then that's how he um, he got out. He could have went to India. Why not go to India? So then Sahel's like, yeah, man. Uh, and then he explains himself. So cool, bro. You know, um, I've always wanted to work with the guy, you know, even though we, we might have our religious differences, you know, but I'm easy to get along with. You know, I, I, it, it, it doesn't bother me that people believe in evolution or – out of Africa theory, whatever, bro. Believe whatever you want. You know, if you want to listen to the things that I found, some of the irregularities, let me know. All right. So, so then the, this whole conversation happens. Um, you know, uh, he says, "Hey, you know," and look, th- um, these guys don't want to talk to him. They don't want to uh, continue the conversation. So, all right, let me quit. Stop. Share. 
Okay, and I'm back. Oh, who is this? A based Islamist. All right, I can't add you because your devices are not connected. Oh, and I think he's in the private chat. So, okay, so let's see if he's there. He might have left. I'll give him a few minutes, and then I'll wrap this up. Okay, so that's it. Peace out.